guys have been here. Cop jets should have four of them coming out. You see boat number 22 coming by. Lewis Schindler and boat number 717 there from Burley, Idaho. That's Joseph Dilworth. Got three of our boats. Oh, we got all four of them coming. Here we go. Now, we're going to do this a little different. So you fans up there, this time you have to listen to me or look down toward the start-finish line because we're not going to run on a clock start on this. We're going to run a flag start. So these boats will come out on the race course. They will get together in a group. They will come down toward the start-finish line, and when the referee believes they are in a good starting position, he will change that white flag to a green flag, and we will go racing. So you're going to want to watch the flags down there on start-finish line. This will be a flag start. Got our four boats out there. They call them comp jets. Great looking craft. Was looking at them last night. You got boat number 717 from Burley, Idaho, driven by Joseph Dilworth. You got boat number 171, also from Burley, Idaho. That will be Glenn Dilworth. Numbers are interesting there, obviously. Guys with the same last name, obviously related from the same city. Boat number 717 and boat number 171. So just moving some numbers around. Then you got boat number 22, Lewis Schindler, driven by Mark Moyle, Moyle Racing. And then you got Mark Moyle driving CJ203. So the way I just read that, Mark Moyle is driving. We've got uh, Lewis Schindler is driving boat number 22, Mark Moyle will be driving 203. No time to read you on the clock because we're not on a clock start this time. We are simply watching the flags. Our chief referee this time is holding the flags as opposed to our flag man. That's because he is in control of this race. If he likes the way they're lined up, he will drop the flag and a green will go. Keep your eye on start finish. Seem to be lined up pretty good, and there we go. Green flag, turn it loose. You can tell very, very quickly that these guys are not running what we have seen on the other boats with a propeller. When they put the foot down, it was an entirely looking view, different view behind the boats. First time for this class running here on Lake Pateras, and I'll tell you what, from what they're doing right now, it's a pretty doggone good show. You got three boats right there very closely together. We'll pick them out of the sun as they come down toward our start finish line there stood they started on a flag start but we're still going to run four laps this will come down to complete lap number one got three boats very tight together here one up one down three to go Joseph Dilworth running in second place. He's in the white boat lane number two, but I did not get the number of our leader who is running on the inside. Mark, Mo Mark Moyle is on the outside in third place. Boat's getting a little bit late going up the back stretch. You got three of them very close together. But right now it is Joseph Dilworth in second place. He's trying to make a move, but on the far outside, Mark Moyle. Moyle's closing ground on both of the leaders, and you can't see him, but he is out there. He has moved into lane, or he's moved into second place as they get to the entrance bit of the corner. You're going to see a third boat on the outside. There he is. That is Mark Moyle, and he's going to come down, staying way to the outside, trying to keep the RPM up. Very, very close racing as they come by. Lewis Schindler in boat number 22. Lewis Schindler, boat number 22. He is the leader. He's on the inside, but he has got his hands full down to the lower corner here. We are on lap number two. Good looking racing going on here. First time ever for our comp jet class, and they're putting on a great show. You can throw a blanket across all three boats. Mark Moyle on the outside. He's driving that big race course. He's moved from third, and he's come into second place. Now he's given ground. You can just barely see his helmet there above the spray coming off of the second place boat, but no sooner do I see that, and he pulls right back up alongside. 
It's Moyle on the outside. Schindler, still your leader on the inside. Look at this race for second place. Really close here. Good boat racing here. Our comp jet class. White flag flies. One to go. Mark Moyle still running in third place, but right now our leader, Lewis Schindler, he's been able to hold on to this thing all the way around despite some pretty good competition. If he were to look in his mirrors, he'd see a deck-to-deck -deck battle going for second place on the right side of his boat, but he's got clean water right now, he being Lewis Schindler. And if he could just keep this thing running, but I'll tell you what, Mark Moyle on the outside, he's still going to let him know he is in the game here. They're coming up on slower traffic, but it's not going to have anything to do with the outcome of this. This is the final lap for our leaders. Lewis Schindler's had everything going his way. Keep an eye on Boyle on the outside. His boat gets real loose when it comes down. They're putting on a big show. Boyle's going to get second place. Our leader and our winner is going to be Lewis Schindler. Boyle comes in second. And it's Joseph Dilworth in third. Great racing here. First time for that class here, and uh, Big Dog, I think the fans liked that one. That was fun. Oh, that was a great race, wasn't it? That guy on the inside, he wasn't letting down Brad, not for one second, but Mark and the other guy, they were uh, they were not going to give up either. That was a great race. Three boats, one rooster tail is always fun, isn't it? You ever driven one of those? Uh, no, but I just told Kip that I'd like one. <laughs> what, does he go get one for you? I thought I'd put a jet on the back of his. He's got a pro stock somewhere around here. I'm sure he does. Yeah, we need to do that for him. Yeah, that was fun. Those things are a little squirrely coming off the corner. Yeah, well, what about you taking one for a ride? I'd go anytime. <laughs> I'd go anytime. I'm at an age now where I just start signing paperwork and go. All right. Good looking run. Glenn Dilworth will come down, not to uh, not to short him at all. Four up and four down for boat number 171 out of Burley, Idaho. Great to have the guys over here put on a great show, and we will look forward to more of their racing later on this weekend.